Well, it's National Adoption Month, and adoption events make it a little easier for families looking to adopt and for those who've already gone through the process. Tonight, TV6's Julie Williams speaks with Upper Peninsula Family Solutions to find out just what goes into the adoption process. There are more than 110,000 children up for adoption across the United States, and efforts like National Adoption Day are helping to match children to forever homes. Last year, through the National Adoption Day, 65,000 kids were adopted. The number of children in Marquette County and nationwide who need adoption is only growing, and the increase has to do primarily with the opioid and narcotic drug epidemic. The parents are on meth or other drugs like that, and they're unable, unwilling to take care of these kids, and the probate court has taken the kids away from them. So there's a real need for these kids to have a safe, secure, loving family to take them in. Foster homes are usually distinguished by the age range of children they'll take in, and there can be about a 50-50 chance of reuniting a child with the biological parents. Well, usually when children come into foster care, reunification is the goal, and the foster care worker as well as the foster parents work with the biological parents to achieve that goal. Organizations like Family Solutions will reach out to family members to take in the child, and in many cases, the foster parents will end up adopting. Even if foster parents don't come into getting licensed to adopt, they, they end up adopting, um, is what we see happens because the child's been in their home for a year or two years and they're bonded to that child. Every year, approximately 135,000 children nationwide are adopted. Julie Williams, TV6 News, Marquette.